find the first four terms in ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion of the square root of 4 minus 9x, writing each term in its simplest form. So we're going to change 4 minus 9x into change the square root of 4 minus 9x into 4 minus 9x to the power of a half. Now, when we do this binomial expansion, it needs to be in the form 1 plus x to the power of n. So this needs to be a 1 at the front. So to make the number at the front a 1, we need to take it outside. We need to factorize it. So we're going to take 4 outside the bracket. So it will be 4. And everything's to the power of a half, so the 4 will still be to the power of a half. And inside we're going to have 1 minus 9 over 4 x to the power of a half. So if we expanded the bracket, we would go back to 4 minus 9x to the power of a half. 4 to the power of a half, we can write as 2. So it's 2 and 1 minus 9 over 4x to the power of a half. Now the binomial expansion for this is in the formula book. We're going to leave the 2 on the outside. And then we're going to have 1 as the first term, plus nx, so it's a half times minus 9 over 4x. The next term, so we want the first four terms, so 1, 2, the next one, is going to be n times n minus 1. So half times minus a half over 2x squared. So 9 over 4x squared. And then I'll just keep going across the next term. n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 over 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6 x cubed. So now it's just a case of simplifying this. It's probably easiest to use the calculator to do so. So we'll keep the 2 on the outside. We've got a 1. And then we've got half times minus 9 over 4. So half times minus 9 over 4 is minus 9 eighths. So we've got minus 9 eighths x. The next term, I'm going to write it all in the calculator, just leaving out the x. So we've got half times minus a half over 2 x squared, which is minus 81 over 128. Minus 81 over 128, that's our x squared term. And then we've got, for the next one, the x is cubed. It's a 6. On the top it's half, times minus a half, times minus one and a half. And that's minus... 729 over 1024. X cubed term. We, know we need to multiply through by the 2 now. So that'll be 2 minus 9 quarters x minus 81 over 64 x squared minus 729 over. 512x cubed. So that is our expansion. Part B, using your answer to part A, and without doing any calculations. So a student uses this, this expansion with x is 1 ninth to find an approximation for square root 3.
Would it be an overestimate or an underestimate, giving a brief reason for your answer? So if we kept going, it will get more and more accurate. So if we kept going with the next term, the next term, the next term, the next term, it will get closer to square root 3. And you can see every term is negative. So this is going to be an overestimate because the next terms would be negative and that would bring it closer to square root 3. So it's an overestimate. And the reason is all the following terms would be negative.